folks, Brian Manzella, Golf Magazine Top 100 Teacher, coming to you today from outside of Orlando, Florida at the Reunion Golf Resort to talk to you about the golf swing of the young Italian player, Matteo Manacero, and specifically the portion of Manacero's swing from the left arm being parallel to the ground on the backswing to the right arm being parallel to the ground past impact. It's a portion of the golf swing a lot of golf instructors focus on, and I'm gonna show you how Manacero does it. It may be a little bit different than what you're trying to do. A lot of times when golf instructors focus on the portion of the swing I'm talking about right here, specifically when this left arm gets parallel to the ground for the first time in the backswing, they'll pose it with a very bent right arm. The right arm will be visible as you look at me slightly underneath my left arm. And then when they pose through the ball, when the right arm is parallel to the ground, the right arm will be a little bit higher than the left arm or the left arm under the right arm. And that is not what Manicero does and not what a lot of great players do. Here's how Mateo does it. On the backswing, because he keeps his hands inside the club head as he takes the club back, and then the club head will appear right through his hands from his down line view, his right arm stays a little higher than his left arm, at least to the portion of the swing where we're talking about the left arm being parallel to the ground. But when he makes a change of direction, after he's laid the club off a little bit at the top, and before he starts to tumble it back on plane right here, in this portion of the swing, his right arm is gonna be lower than his left arm because he's in position now to go ahead and strike the ball and really use some of the strength in this bent right arm going to straight. On the other side of the ball though, after he's tumbled the club, back out in front of him and made great impact. What he does through the ball is, because he stays in his right side bend so long and so well, he keeps his left arm higher than his right arm, even as far as when his right arm is parallel to the ground. And the club doesn't recock as fast as you see a lot of people doing. So I promise you, if you work on keeping this right arm a little higher than the left on the backswing, then working the right arm under on the downswing and keeping it under, if you can square the club face up, you're gonna hit the ball probably as good as you ever hit it and definitely better than you ever tried before.